Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about top 10 tools for a Spring developer. If you want to make a career in a Spring development, then you should be having a good command on this top 10 tools. So let me try to discuss about this top 10 tools that you should master as a Spring developer. So let get started for that and let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the first tool. So the first tool is Java itself. So if you are going to become a Spring developer, uh, you should already know that Spring is a framework of Java that help us in doing the development. So you should have a very good command over Java as a Spring developer. Okay, so you should be having the knowledge of Java common concepts, OOPS concept, database connectivity, collections and Java 8 features. So these are the most concept that you should be having the thorough knowledge in. Okay, as a Java developer or as a Spring Boot, de Spring Boot developer. So you should master Java common concept, OOPS concept, how to connect your Spring Boot application with the database and the collection framework of Java and apart from that you should also be having the thorough knowledge in Java 8 features like Lambda expression, functional interfaces, stream APIs, date and time APIs and others as well. So this is the first key or this is the first tool that you should master as a Spring developer which is Java. Now let me try to go to next slide and discuss about the second tool. So here we have listed down the second tool as Spring Initializer. So this is the place or you can say website where you can create your Spring Boot application. So you should be uh, having the knowledge of in Spring Initializer as well, how it look like and how you can create your Spring Boot application from this website. So this is the, I would say the outlook or the home page of Spring Initializer where you can create your Spring Boot application. So you can see, uh, you can create your Spring Boot project here, choose the language that you want to uh, work in and then Spring Boot version and then you can define your group name, artifact name and name of your application. You can provide the description, package name and if you want to add the dependency uh, in the right hand side, you can see the option of add dependency, you can add it out. Okay, so this is uh, about the Spring Initializer and if you are using, uh, let's say, IntelliJ as an IDE, then if you are using the IntelliJ Ultimate version, directly you can find this option inside the IntelliJ itself. So you can see this, the second option, which is a Spring Initializer coming in the IntelliJ. And there itself, you will find the same uh, console or same option to create your Spring Boot application inside the IntelliJ itself. So this, both of the screen are same. Uh, one is in the Spring Initializer website, and the second one is coming from the IntelliJ. Okay, so this is uh, the second tool which is Spring Initializer from where you can develop or create your Spring Boot application adding the dependency that you require. So you should have the knowledge on this Spring Initializer as well. Now let me try to go to next slide and discuss about the third tool which is IDE that is stand for the integrated development environment okay so the most popular name of id is when we are going to uh, look for the spring or java development is eclipse intellij and netbeans uh, the first two are mostly used in the industry to work on the applications so either of them you should master in okay so either you can choose the eclipse and then create a bunch of application in the Eclipse and try to see how it is looking like, how to do the configuration of your application in the Eclipse. So you should learn the basic things to work with a IDE. So my recommendation is to pick any of these IDE and try to develop a lot of application on this and see how the configuration of your application is being done inside the particular IDE how to configure your Java inside the particular IDE, how to configure your uh, build tools. So those things you should be aware of. So pick any of this IDE and then master in this IDE and try to develop a lot of application in it. 
okay and the second tool uh, like second id i would say is intellij which is i am using in my projects so any of them you can pick and in the previous uh, years we were using the netbeans as of now i am not sure if it is uh, still active or not but yeah these are the popular ids for the java or spring boot developers now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the unit testing so let's say you have developed your application then you have to write the unit testing for your application so you should have the knowledge of unit testing of your application how to write the unit test cases and how to mock your object so for that you should master these two technologies or two tools which is junit and mockito so pick them and try to master them okay now the fifth tool is rest client okay so let's say you have developed your application and you have developed couple of uh, apis in your application so how can you test those apis so there comes the fifth tool which is rest client tool which is postman or insomnia so any of them you can pick and use them as a rest client so i am using postman so you should uh, download the postman and see how the postman is working out how you can create your own uh, request inside the postman either it is get post put or delete so those thing you should see and try to use either postman or insomnia now the next tool is build tool or you can say dependency management tool which is either maven or the gradle so based upon your preference you can uh, choose any of them i am using maven in my projects so you can choose maven or the gradle so what they are doing is uh, they will help you in building your application cleaning your application installing your application so there are a couple of uh, maven commands that you should learn in order to build your application try to clean your application install the things that is needed in your application and this apache maven is also working as a dependency management tool as well so if uh, some dependency is missing then you can go to the maven and try to include that dependency in your pom.xml file of your application and then do a maven clean or do a maven install so that the dependency which you have included can be installed in your application okay so you should master this uh, build and dependency management tool you can pick any of them either maven or the gradle okay now the seventh tool is docker which is being used as a containerization tool okay so let's say you have developed your application you have written the unit test cases you also build your application now you want to deploy your application so either you can create a jar out of your application and deploy it out or you can containerize your application by creating the docker image so there comes the picture of docker so you should master this technology let's say you have developed your application now you want to deploy your application and you are not going to use the jar to deploy your application so what you can do is you can create the docker image of your application and take that image or push that image to the docker hub and then from there you can pick your image and deploy it in the cloud uh, that you want to prefer okay or that you want to where you want to deploy your application in either it can be aws or gcp or azure so docker is a containerization tool which help us in creating the containers and deploying your ima docker images inside that container okay now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the eighth rule which is kubernetes which is a kind of orchestration tool this help us in trying to orchestrate or manage your containers and the containers are the places where you deploy your images or docker images you can say so the kubernetes is a kind of orchestration tool that help us in managing your docker containers okay so you should master this technology as well now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about this ci cd tool which is either jenkins you can master or you can use the github action so let's say you have developed your application now you created the docker image of your application and you want to uh, continuously 
like test your application and trying to deploy your application automatically so for that you should create a pipeline which you can create in Jenkins or GitHub Action. So you can use any of this technology to create a CI CD pipeline of your application. So either you can use Jenkins or Docker. So the nine technology that you should master is for the CI CD pipeline is Jenkins or the GitHub Action. Okay, now let me try to go to the next slide and discuss about the 10th tool. So the 10th one is deployment tool, which is a very my like these are the very famous tools nowadays which are the cloud platform uh, like AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So for deployment based upon your preference you can use any of these deployment tools like AWS, Google Cloud or Azure. Okay so you should master uh, these tools in order to deploy your application. Now the 11th one which is I have included is the log management tool which is Splunk. So to uh, log your real-time events you should use a log management tool and here I am using Splunk as a log management tool. Okay so these are the main tools or you can say uh, top 10 tools that we have discussed here that you should have the confidence in or you should have the basic knowledge in as a Spring developer. Okay, so this is about the video guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content. Thanks.